Hey everybody, I'm as far as on here, and welcome back to this video series on learning C-sharp and Unity for digital tabletop game development. We're picking up where we left off in the previous video, and if you haven't watched that one, I highly recommend doing so that you kind of get an idea of what we're trying to do here. Um, but I don't think you'll be lost if, uh, if you didn't see it. I think you'll be fine. In the previous video, we just created an empty game object and got familiar with uh, the Unity editor. And we added a script to it called debug script, which if we open it in Visual Studio, has um, some code in it that uh, just logs to the console a couple of different strings. In this video, we're gonna talk about strings more in depth, as well as other types of data or data types um, in uh, C-sharp and Unity, and also uh, what are variables. So let's get started by uh, deleting what we already have here in our code which uh, just logs to the console. And you'll recall that in the previous video, we looked at the start method and the update method, um, which are uh, uh, methods that are native to uh, Unity scripting, which where start is called uh, when a game object comes to life in your scene, and the update method is called uh, once every frame. We're gonna work with the start method right now by um, entering all of our code in between these two curly braces um, right below this, uh, this declaration, which is void start. We'll talk about what that means at another time. So um, if I need to do some work in Unity, there's the chance that I might need to do some math between two integers, meaning uh, a, a numerical value that is not a decimal value or I might need to do some work with text, which we usually call strings. Those are both called variables. So if I say uh, var i equals zero, I will um, get a, uh, a, um, a green squiggly line that we're not gonna deal with right now. I'm just gonna say uh, variable i equals zero and I'll say debug log i. Now let's see what happens when I save my um, script and go back to my scene and I hit play and I go, I can see it at the bottom of my screen here or I can go to my console and it just says zero. By declaring uh, or saying ver i equals zero, and the spacing uh, only matters in, in the sense that I need to have a space between the word ver and i. I could say ver i equals zero, um, but then if uh, Visual Studio does uh, a little bit of help for me and, and actually adds a space there, but it's not as important as having a space between the word ver and also i. Um, what it does is it stores or it assigns zero to this variable i, and it says that, and I, I'm saying to Unity, hey, I wanna create a variable and I'm gonna name it i, and in it, I want you to store this integer, which is zero. And now when I say debug log um, i, then it appears in uh, my console when the game starts, because uh, what happens here is that Unity creates this game object, and when this game is uh, game object is created, Unity calls the start function or the start method, and it um, within the start method it just says uh, I'm creating a, a variable called i, I'm assigning um, the number zero to it, and I want you to log that to the console. So variables are a great way of storing information that we might use for later. Like if I want to store hit points or um, I can even store a game object into it. Uh, and there are many different um, reasons why I might want to create a variable. In some uh, programming languages, you might declare a variable this way every time that you do it. Um, but with Unity and C Sharp in, uh, in general, uh, what you often have to do is let the um, let the compiler know and, and let um, Unity know what is the data type of the variable that you're declaring uh, when you uh, declare that variable. So rather than just say this generic, I'm um, creating a variable, I might actually want to say int i equals zero. Um, so I'm saying instead of it's just a, some sort of variable, 
um, and I don't know, uh, I don't want Unity to really think about it until it compiles um, uh, what type of variable it is. I'm going to declare it as an integer, and I'm going to say, um, hey, I'm, I'm creating a new integer. It's called i, and that's uh, equal to 0. And now when I save it and I play the game again, I'll get the same uh, the same response here. It'll just say zero, and it has somewhat of the same uh, functionality. But it's important that we do it this way, is because is because we'll be doing that throughout our entire um, game developer journey with Unity and with C Sharp in particular. If you're working with like JavaScript, for example, or Python, you might not have to declare things in this way. But C Sharp, um, uh, it's definitely a requirement to learn how to do it this way, and it helps me do things like. Um, when I say uh, um, hello world, for example, that's called a string. And I'll call, uh, call string hello is equal to hello world. And in this way, I'm able to say um, that uh, I'm creating a new variable, and this variable is of a data type string. It's a, uh, it's a different data type than an integer, and that lets the, it, um, it is a method of programming that's called static typing, which is different from dynamic typing. And I think that's going to be your homework assignment for this video, is to look up static, statically versus dynamically typed languages, and you'll learn more than you ever wanted to know about how to declare variables in different languages. But it's an important concept to, to be familiar with. For our purposes, we just want to know that that an integer and a string, um, well, those are two different data types that are used by C Sharp um, programming, and it's important that we uh, signify what type of data we're using for each of these variables that we're de declaring. The integer i, which is equal to zero, um, or it could be one, two, three, so on and so forth, just anything that's not a decimal, is different from a string like hello world or a bit of text, and we declare that right when we create the variable. When, um, when I hover over this uh, little green line, I see uh, different from like an error, which we saw with a squiggly red line. It says the variable hello is assigned, but its value is never used. That's a helpful tooltip from Unity that we've created this variable that um, isn't being used. And uh, what's important is uh, that sometimes we'll have you know, leftover stuff in our code where we'll, we'll have deleted stuff and Unity will give us a indication that we haven't, um, that we still have this variable that we've never used and that may, might help us clean up our code. So how do we use this stuff? Well, we could say um, debug log i and debug log hello, and that'll get rid of our squiggly lines. Um, and we're doing that in the start method. Um, what we could do, for example, is reassign what those variables uh, do in the update method. And we could say, well, actually, I want i to equal uh, 25. And um, I could say, uh, I want hello to equal um, 100. Uh, and we'll see a couple of different um, issues with this, uh, um, as evidenced by squiggly lines. One is that the name i does not exist in the current current context. So that just lets me know that um, I've done something that uh, deals with what's called scope in Unity and also C sharp programming and other other programming languages. Scope, at least as it um, happens to work out in uh, C sharp is that whenever I have something between these two curly br curly braces, it said that the things that are happening within these curly braces are only applicable within this scope. So I've declared the integer i within this uh, scope or within these two curly braces, and that means that it's not applicable elsewhere in my code. Um, Everything that happens between these, like everything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Everything that happens between the start curly braces uh, stays within the start curly braces. So when I get to the update method 
and I uh, attempt to use I or hello, I'm going to have an issue because I um, don't have uh, the same scope here. I've created a new scope within these two things, and these two are not compatible. I'm not able to um, pull this I variable into this update um, method and use it here. It simply doesn't work like that. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but one of, it, one of them is code safety, that if I'm um, messing with things in one block of code, uh, I may not want to be able to access them from another block of code. And that's actually something that's useful for me. If I want to be able to use I in both of these code blocks or these, these sections of code, I need to declare them earlier in my script or outside of these two curly braces. If I want to use int I or string hello, I'm going to actually um, declare them earlier on in my uh, in my um, script outside of these code blocks in in um, in a wider scope or a higher level of scope. So instead of calling it uh, declaring it in my start method, I'm just going to say int I and string hello. A couple of things are going to happen here. One, I uh, declare these two uh, variables. I'm saying one is an integer called i, and another one is a string called hello. Um, and I'm uh, declaring them, but I'm not assigning them. I'm not saying, uh, I'm not telling the compiler, I'm telling Unity what these things are equal to. What I can do here is now go into my start method and just say, you know what, i is equal to zero and hello equals hello world. I don't need to declare them again by saying integer i or string hello because the compiler or um, Unity already knows what uh, data types I'm using for these, these two things. And then um, in my update method, I can say that um, I can change i and say that, well, i is equal to 25 uh, instead of zero. And when I try and say hello is equal to 100, it says it cannot in implicitly convert type int to string. That just means that that just means that um, that Visual Studio is catching for me that I said that hello would be a string, and it's expecting that if I change it, which I, I can absolutely do, I can change hello to a different value. I said that it was a string, and it's going to hold me at my word, and so it's not going to allow me to change it. Uh, what's called casting it to a different data type. Um, by saying uh, that, okay, now it's equal to an integer. In some programming languages like JavaScript, you can do that, um, and uh, there's, a, there's a cost for doing that in terms of computation uh, that we don't need to talk about right now. All we need to know is that, uh, in general, um, the, uh, the compiler helps me to prevent um, errors by saying, like, hey, you said this was going to be an integer, you said this was going to be a string, um, let's keep it that way, unless you tell me directly that you want to change the type of this um, this uh, variable. So we're going to change it instead to just uh, hello Unity. So at the very beginning of the game, when the um, the game object is created, it's going to change the uh, integer i uh, from nothing. It just doesn't have a value or a value of null. It's going to change that to zero. And it's going to change the value of, uh, or reassign the value, or I guess we're just assigning it for the first time, of hello to hello world. And then we want it to debug i and debug hello. When, after that happens, and now every frame, it should be changing i to uh, 25 and change hello to hello unity. And to make sure that it's done that, we're going to say debug log i and debug log hello. So it should call this function once, and we should see one example of um, uh, zero and also hello world. But then right after that, it's going to call update every frame, and it, it will have changed um, i to 25 and hello to hello unity. And it's going to debug that, um, and so we should see those represented as well. I save my script, and I hit play, and I see exactly what we expect. I see one um, uh, console uh, uh, log that says uh, zero, and one of hello world, and then I'm seeing like thousands 
of 25 and hello unity, which is great. Actually, if we wanted to clean up the logic of this script, we could say after um, i equals zero, hello equals hello world and debugging them, we could just change i to 25 and hello to hello unity. And then we don't need to do that in our update. We can just delete these two lines. Oops, save everything. And this just shows, this should show us that things happen sequentially from, from top to bottom here uh, within a code block, saying that uh, at the beginning of this code block in the start method, i is equal to zero, hello is equal to hello world. We debug those things, and then we change the values of them, or we reassign them. And then in the update method, we want, which happens after all this happens, if we debug log um, i and hello, they should be 25 and hello unity instead of what we initially assigned them as. After we save and we play the game, we see the same functionality as before. We see one, um, declaration of zero and hello world, and then a bunch of 25s and hello unity. That just lets us know that we're doing the right thing here. Cool. So that's how you deal with var variables, and there's many different types of data types, um, <laughs> not just integers and strings. You've got floating point numbers. Um, actually, uh, we can uh, declare game objects themselves in Unity. And um, I think the second part of your homework will be look at data types in C Sharp and Unity and just familiarizing yourself with the different types of data types. And try um, messing around with this. Change your, uh, your integers to... Um, to different numbers, change strings. If you feel it adventurous, try different data types in your scripts as well and see if you can make some mistakes and figure out um, uh, why you're getting squiggly red lines or if they're not logging to the console the way you want them to. And we'll improve on the functionality of our script in uh, the next video by looking at, finally, looking at functions and methods and also um, how to add numbers together, add... Uh, um, numbers with strings and uh, log them to the console and uh, generally get a better handle about how to use um, our scripts in Unity. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it's helpful for you. If it is, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'd love it if you would check out my books and games. Um, uh, specifically, Entromancy is a very exciting uh, series of uh, role-playing and card games that um, uh, I've uh, worked on and also which include novels. I'd love it for you to check them out at entromancy.com or I'll, in, I'll put the information in the um, uh, description for this video. And better yet, tell someone about them because I'd love to get the word out about them. Um, and we'll see you in the next video.